Chicago is an interesting team. First and foremost, that boy DeMar DeRozan is incredible, man. DeMar DeRozan, who nobody really, a lot of people always talk about his his, his mid-range game because, you know, he's, that's pretty much his primary area. However, nobody really talks about DeMar DeRozan being possibly, arguably, one of the greatest mid-range uh, shooters of all time. He is, he's that cold-blooded, man. Um, and he's an MVP candidate. Uh, I don't, I'll say top five. Um, I understand, you know, a lot of people want to say he's going to win MVP. A lot of people want to say uh, he should be top three. But it's hard for me after, you know, he's been incredible. Don't get me wrong. And if he's not in your MVP list, I would question your MVP list. But it's hard for me to put him over Nikola Jokic, over Joel Embiid, over Giannis uh, at this moment. But he's right there in that mix, in my opinion. But can Chicago win a championship? Here's the thing about Chicago. Chicago has played 10 times better than I predicted when they got a DeMar DeRozan. And they're playing incredibly well right now with some of their key pieces, Lonzo Ball and, and Alex Caruso, both out with injury. But my problem, my problem with Chicago is they are a small team. Now, yes, you have a Vucevic, and Vucevic is incredible offensively, but defensively he's not nobody outside of Alex Caruso and um and Lonzo Ball are really that good defensively. Now I'm not gonna disrespect Chicago because they are the number one team in the East. But when you look outside like their centers right now is Vucevic. Tristan Thompson, who seemingly the only place that he can really, like, the only place that he feels home at is in somebody else's bed that's not his wife's, and Tony Bradley. To me, none of that is getting it done. Now, their guard position is great. I mean, again, you have Lonzo Ball, you have Alex Caruso, you have DeMar DeRozan, you have uh, Zach Levine coming off the bench, you have Kobe White. But I just think that I think that they're really going to struggle. They're going to struggle def- defensively when you're going up against a team that I mean, look at most of these wins. Look at most of these wins that they they've, they've accumulated over the last few 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 games. Um, let's see. Their last few, their last few wins. They destroyed Charlotte, one twenty-one to one hundred nine. But they gave up one up nine to Charlotte team. Uh, you gave up one hundred and twenty-two point. Now you did beat Minnesota. Right now they're on a one, two, three, four, five, six. They're on a six-game win streak. So let me not, let me not just crap on the the Chicago Bulls, but I'm just looking defensively. You gave up 122 against Minnesota. You gave up 101 against Oklahoma City. You gave up 109 against San Antonio. You gave up 118 against Sacramento. And you gave 108 to uh, not February? So... I just think that they're they're going to struggle defensively when and 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 I also look when they play some of the top teams. When they played Phoenix, they lost one twenty seven to one twenty four. When they played Philly, Joel Embiid, the big, you have they lose one nineteen to one hundred eight. When they played Milwaukee, they lost ninety four to ninety. When they played Golden State. <laughs> They lost 138 to 96. When they played Boston, they did lose by two, but it was 114 to 112. Um, when they played Miami, that which is the number two in the East, they they lost 118 to 92. When they played Cleveland, who's like what fifth in the East or something, fifth or sixth in the East, they lost 115 to 92. When they lost, when they played Miami again or bef- the first time. 
107 to 104. And I think Lonzo Ball and them were playing that game. So, hell, now I'm looking. I didn't really notice this. Every time they played a top team outside of Brooklyn, they lost. They lost three games to Philly. Two games. They lost both of their games to Golden State. They got destroyed by Golden State both games. Their biggest win was L.A. and maybe Denver? Oh, in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. I'm not going to destroy Brooklyn. So, I just, when they played some of the top teams, I just don't, I don't know. I just don't see that they'll be able to, they're, they're waxing the floor with some of the, some of the lesser teams. And, of course, they're good, you know, when they're not playing a top team, is they look incredible. But it's just when they play the top team, they don't look as good, clearly. So I just I don't know if they're I don't think the championship their their championship material material. I don't think they're good enough to win a championship just because of the fact that they clearly struggle when they play against the top teams in the NBA. Now they they can feast off playing Washington or playing uh, New York or Indiana. But when you play some of the top teams like Miami, who they haven't beat, uh, Philly, who they haven't beat, Minnesota, uh, Milwaukee, um, Golden State, Phoenix, it, it's a different story. So I just don't think that Chicago, in my opinion, at this point, is good enough to win a championship. I think they're a really good team, but when you when you go get into a series and when you get boggled down and when a team is only focused on you and you're not playing Detroit's, you're playing now Milwaukee's. I just don't think Chicago got it. 